I know it's been a minute since I updated everyone on uh, the happenings around here on our homestead. It's been busy the last couple of weeks and I've had a lot of things on my hands that I've needed to repair and get working and um, taking the time to stop and video and then edit and make, make videos for YouTube when there was a lot of work that just needed to be done and I'm kind of a one man show just wasn't happening so i apologize for uh for the delay um there may have been also some youtube motivation issues but i'm back and um so to everybody who told me make another video we need to know what's going on update us i'm doing it so thanks for hanging in with me there has been a lot going on over the last couple of weeks Air conditioning on the house stopped working. Jeep has taken a lot out of me from an energy standpoint to get that thing running. I'm still not done with it. And that's been a major source of headache. I installed the air conditioning system on our house myself and all the duct work, the system, everything myself. And so when it doesn't work, I'm the guy that has to fix it all. And Honestly, a lot of what that entailed this time was just waiting on warranty parts. And they really, they sent me one part, they sent me a new control board for the whole unit, which didn't fix the problem. And then they finally did send me a new uh, blower motor and that fixed the problem. So all under warranty and all covered, but still work that I had to do. And I had to go through all the diagnostics and stuff to get it done. So it took a little bit of time to make that happen. I had to put window units back in the house. I'm not an instructional. I don't, I don't intend to really make instructional channels because mockingbirds are so pretty. That's just not my thing. I'm not good enough at anything to be able to really instruct as to how to do it. That's, that's for somebody else. I'm good enough to figure it out for myself, but not to really teach it per se. Not this stuff anyway. There might be other things that I might be good enough to teach, but not this. This is all stuff I'm just trying to figure out. So what's going on around here? Here are some updates. All right, update number one is this girl. And she is doing great. I don't really have, thank goodness, but it was a rough go with Sunny for a little while and I still don't really know what's gonna happen with her, but she's happily waiting for food tonight. She's doing really well though. Her her girl is nursing off of her really well, and Ruby's calf tends to, well, everybody kind of tends to take milk off of Sunny. And uh, she's doing really well, though. We're, we're actually not milking her at the moment. Part of that was medication, and part of that was just because of not wanting to pull her away. We need to do a calf sharing situation if she's to, if we're to milk her and I guess just kind of with how everything played out with her and the antibiotics and stuff, I just didn't feel ready to do it. But we may be getting to that point. I don't know. But she's doing really well, so let's give her some feed. Okay, Sonny, come on. Come over in your stall. Another thing. Oh, my goodness, have we had rain. We have had rain. We've had some pretty massive storms, too, that um, also... Gave us quite a bit of hail. Come over here, Sonny. Fortunately, I was able to get all our cars inside the shop. So they didn't get any hail damage. Come over here, Sonny. Come on. Come on, girl. Come over here. So fortunately, I was able to get all the cars inside the shop so they don't have any hail damage. And I've got impact resistant shingles, so they're good too. Nope, you stay there. You stay there. Just a minute. But I'll insert some video of the hail that we got. The biggest of the hailstones were in the, oh, probably golf ball size. So, but look at all this mud. It's terrible. No, no, no. You have to stay there. Be right back. Those bars are too far apart. I had a temporary gate up on the side of those um, of that panel, but I had to take it down and actually use it. And so now I've got to put a cattle pa cattle panel up there to fill the gap. But there you go. Let 
So that's actually something that I need to do today is get that cattle panel up. So I was saying we had a pretty big storm recently. We had uh, not huge winds, but what I saw on the weather station before our power went out was 30 mile per hour winds, which isn't the worst in the world, but it's certainly enough to cause some damage. So we were watching the weather station while the storm was coming through and we saw the weather, the winds sort of shift from the east to the north and it doesn't usually come from the north. And what happened was there's some hackberry trees, which hackberry trees are just the absolute worst. They're rotten on the inside on in the trunk of the tree. And you just, you don't even know that by looking at them, but they're totally rotten on the inside. And when the wind shifted around from the north, it took down um, it took down a massive branch and that branch fell on the line that feeds power to our house and our neighbor's house and so we lost power so we also got a little bit of hail i think some of our neighbor's vehicles that were outside at the time did get some hail damage like i said ours was ours were inside in my shop or in the lean-to of the shop and so they didn't sustain any damage thank goodness also since i videoed last the little baby chicks have gotten quite a bit bigger so where are you guys so they're growing these little babies are uh, kind of funny because they're so small they can slip in and out anywhere they want and they just go everywhere and that's kind of fun jesse our bull has been going a little bit crazy because everybody is uh coming in and out of season all the cows and he knows it and very much wants to do his job but i'm not letting him come in with the herd until the cows uh, until June because I don't want any more winter calves if we can help it and so next month will be the month for him another thing that's going on around here is we're getting ready to make hay this summer we plan to cut our own hay rake it and bale it for the first time and so haying equipment has been retrieved from storage and I've been working on stuff getting it going this hay rake what do you call this why a sidebar side delivery bar rake so we acquired this last fall and it was kind of an interesting story the guy had it on marketplace for a few hundred dollars or something and when i went to go get it he said that he had lifted it with the forks on his tractor and broken it and so he just gave it to us and so I've been kind of going through that, replacing, what do you call those, teeth or whatever? Those are tines. Tines, all right. Why, it's the guy that knows the farm stuff better than I do. Um, the part that broke, you can see it's been welded a whole bunch of different times. It's a cast piece and it doesn't weld well, so that's why. So we've got a mending plate on the back side of it, which may or may not hold, but we've got a backup plan on that. So lots of adjustment, replacing tines, getting that all squared away. And then it was missing a major component that allowed it to be raised and lowered. And so we came up with a solution using a load binder from Harbor Freight and then welding some ends on it like that. And so it can be raised and lowered now pretty easily. It's not exactly the same design as it was from a factory, but it serves the same purpose. So. We're getting all this haying equipment and I just haven't felt like stopping to video because I've felt a sense of urgency in getting all that stuff ready to go. But then it started raining like crazy and you can't really be cutting hay right now anyways because it's too wet and there's too much rain in the forecast. So that's gonna have to wait. Grass is really thick though. Grass is very thick. It's gonna be a good hay. Another thing that's going on around here is this thing showed up a couple weeks ago. Oh, don't, no, please don't get up for us. 
This dude showed up <laughs> about two weeks ago. He had about six feet of heavy chain wrapped around his neck that he had broken to get loose. And he literally launched himself through a barbed wire fence when he saw Emily because he wanted to get to her so badly. And we don't really need or want another dog. And so we've been trying to figure out what to do with him. We've posted him on all the Lost Animals Facebook groups in this area to no avail. A pretty kind uh, gentleman in a nearby town offered to take him and did take him for a couple days, but said that it wasn't going to work out because he wouldn't stay there. But for us, he won't leave. <laughs> if you want him, comment down below. Yeah, if you want him. Why it says comment down below. We're in North Texas. If you want this dude, he's a super nice dog. He's not neutered. He's an incredibly nice dog. He's big. He looks like a Newfoundland slash Labrador mix. Maybe he's got a big, when he's not, you know, so tired, he's got a pretty big head that looks like the Newfie, I think is what they say. Anyway, I don't know, man. We don't have the heart to just run him out and I'm afraid that if we feed him, which we have because we have a heart, that he's never going to leave. So there's that. Yeah. You like it here, don't you, dude? You don't want to go anywhere? Uh-huh. Yeah. The kids have named him Boris. But I don't pet him because I refuse to acknowledge him. <laughs> trying to grow some oak trees they just have planted they've the acorns have all sprouted in this area underneath this tree these are all schumard oaks red oaks i don't think that one's going to make it but all the rest of them look really really good and i i would love to have some more oaks so we're planting those chickens are all outside look how much water we just have standing water i just mowed like a couple days ago and it already needs it I think they're going to be fed. Here they come. Look at the babies in this running through the water. Well, it continues to be nearly dead, but my goodness, it produced a lot of fruit and it's an apricot tree. We didn't even know that. So we have harvested a lot of really my busted up thumb keeps coming up in these videos. We've harvested a lot of these little apricots. My goodness, are they delicious. They are so good. So we harvested a lot of apricots and Emily has made apricot preserves. And I'm pretty excited about that because I love apricots. Chickens are liking them too. Pear tree. I'm doing great. I am happy. Oh, is that bird? Is that an actual nest? Oh. It is. Pears are looking good though. Is there anything in there? No, it's empty. Yeah. Oh, that's old. Not new. Okay. So pear tree doing awesome. Apple trees doing awesome, which is a surprise because I still find it hard to believe that they do anything here. It's too warm, but that one looks good. No fruit on that one. However, this one, now keep in mind, we just planted this one. I don't quite know what this is going to do. Those are pretty small, but it did produce fruit. Hey, they're apple bites. Apple bites. Peaches look awesome too. I've got to get the weed whacker out here. Let's get some close-ups of the peaches. Peaches. We've tried to be very organic. We're not spraying chemicals on our peaches. And in spite of that, they do look fairly bug-free. I really, do you see any bugs on them, Wyatt? On the actual fruits? I don't either. No, they look good. The dogs surely enjoy these trees because it creates like a... Creates like, like shade. Yeah. 
So peaches are doing really well. Chickens love those apricots. Oh, chickens are in the garden. Chickens, chickens, chickens. Well, let's go in the garden and do a little update. The garden, the garden has been oh, neglected a little bit. We haven't done as much with it as we should have. However, in spite of all that, we do have some pretty flowers. Onions, gosh, huge. Harvested our first cabbage last night. We've harvested a lot of peas. To, to, the tomatoes just have not done well this year. I guess it's been very wet and not very hot and they don't like that. Hope I got that right. We've been harvesting lettuce. We harvested potatoes out of the grow bags. I'll show those here in a little bit. Again, tomatoes just not doing super awesome. What's in number two, Wyatt? Do you remember num uh, carrots? Those look like carrots. Surely those are carrots. That's how mom plants them. Three right. Yeah, they're little, little carrots. Let's go over and look at the Texas native flowers. Our Texas natives are doing really well. So Emily planted these, mm, was it last summer or the summer before? I think the summer before. So we have the hollyhocks, various others that I don't remember the names of. And they're doing pretty well. I'll comment just a minute if anybody's interested in this Mr. Cool system. So the reason that this system, was, I chose it was it's a, it's a very do-it-yourself friendly system. It's based off of mini split technology. However, I do have a central air handling unit in the attic that I installed that comes with it. So it is pretty efficient as mini splits are, but it does use duct work upstairs. But I have had two problems. It is only two years old and on two occasions it has stopped working. Most recently, this indoor blower motor went out. And I just have a feeling something in the electronics, I don't know, but it was giving an error code and I replaced that motor and it's been fine. But last year, prior to that, it was a mo the motherboard, one of the circuit boards inside that had to be replaced. So while I love the system that, you know, enables a person like me to do it myself because it comes with sealed refrigerant lines, uh, the jury is still out on its longevity, and thank goodness for a warranty. That's about all I can say right now. And that's why there's a window unit right there. Which, I guess, I will take it out, but I'm somewhat superstitious about things like that. And I feel like the second I take it out, I'll need it again. So, that's probably dumb. What else? Is that it, Wyatt? have any other updates okay let's go check out some new gates we've got going on you ready to come out and get your drink come on girl come on out you're not in a hurry in a hurry all right you can stay there We've also been busy with fencing, primarily gates and such. So earlier this year, I sectioned this off because I wanted to make an alley with access to our barn there, to this little paddock here. And so I sectioned that off and I kind of did it with the fencing that we had on hand, which is why there's an H brace here in an odd place, which doesn't make any sense, but we've gone ahead and added another post and a little bit more field fencing and put a proper gate in 
because as the saying goes, there's nothing so permanent as a temporary solution. So <laughs> this temporary fence, I think is just gonna stay. And we've gone ahead and finished that off. And then we did put a little walk-in gate, a little four foot gate down there, which will allow us to go directly from this barn area over to these two acres on this side. Now these two acres on this side are not ours but our neighbor does allow us and our animals to graze them to uh, enable him to keep that ag exemption going. So that will allow our cattle and a new animal, which we will debut in the next video to graze in this section over here. And it is tall. And I have only had everybody off of this for how long has it been? Like two weeks? And yeah, it's it's just been probably two weeks that I haven't had anything on this and look at it. It's looking lush and great. This paddock right over here, I've also been holding in reserve, thinking that we might need it. And look how tall that is. That is some thick, dense stuff. And that's what all our hay fields are going to be looking like. So those two acres are going to come in handy that they are accessible from that other section because there's going to be new additions to our homestead this week. So in the next video, we'll be talking about that. It's something that the kids are really, really excited about. Clover. Albert. Ruby, you look like you've got some milk right now. Winnie's pretty funny. Winnie and Slider both, they kind of just go back and forth between <laughs> Ruby and Sunny. And it's just kind of turned out that way. Those two are pretty connected. And both of their moms pretty much let both of them nurse. Oh, you're gonna knock me over. Look how big Winnie is now. Winnie's nearly as big as Ruby. Ruby's not really wanting Winnie to nurse. Look at that, she's kicking her off. She's been letting her, but she's kicking her off. She wants Slider, she wants her boy to nurse. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, look at that. She's still getting in there though. <laughs> Don't you bite me. <laughs> What you doing? Hmm? You just hanging out? <laughs> so she wants to take the picture. You want to take the picture? Don't bite my ear. Did she bite it? No, but she was getting close. Oh, that would really hurt her. Get up behind you. That's how you know she likes it. She sticks her head up high and shows her feet. 